Hello, I'm going to talk about electron bench points and how those relate to chemical bonds. What I'm talking about when I describe electron bench points are the positions that electrons seem to go to again and again because those positions give the electrons the lowest amount of energy. Electrons are traveling on a sphere, that's the orbital around the inner mass of the atom. And to travel, have the shortest distance between two points traveling on a sphere, an electron would have to travel on the great circle of the sphere, and that's what's called a geodesic. So electrons are always looking at traveling on arcs which follow the geodesics of the sphere. When we have one electron, there are infinite number of geodesics for a sphere. However, when you have two electrons, they want to try and follow certain rules so that they can keep the lowest amount of energy that they can. So when you have two electrons, they will also follow geodesic arcs, but the arcs that they follow will meet at the vertices of a tetrahedron. The reason for this, when you have two electrons and one happens to be on one vertex and one another one has to be on another vertex, they're always equidistant from each other, even if the first electron moves to a third vertex, because the vertices of a tetrahedron are part of a platonic solid and they're equidistant from each other. Thus, electrons seemed to tend, when there's only two of them, to always go back to the vertices of a tetrahedron. And that is why when you have a atom like carbon forming a molecule like methane, the carbon electrons will join with hydrogen in such a way that the bond seems to have a tetrahedral structure. This means that a touch more often than not, the electrons of carbon seem to live at a point in a tetrahedral symmetry related to the hydrogen atoms. This will give them the lowest amount of energy and you can have a very stable molecule of methane where the hydrogen atoms are sitting in a tetrahedral fashion compared to the inner mass of the carbon atom. And that's how you form chemical bonds. Electrons basically are always looking to reduce the energy that they spend moving from one position to another. And the way they do that is they find electron bench, point, bench points, which give them the lowest amount of energy that they can have because they're the least number of paths that they need to travel and the shortest paths. And these are described in that table in this article showing you how the paths can be shorter for geodesic arcs if the electrons follow a pattern of living for the most part on the vertices of a platonic solid.